Hi, everybody. Um, it, is, it has been a few weeks since my last video recording anyways. And so there's been quite a gap in what my last video was, which was, I believe, week 41 um, to today, which will be starting uh, week 46. So I wanted to show you what I had finished for week 41 because not all of the, I believe not all the collages were, were done for that week. And then get started and then show you week 45 and then get started week 46. Um, so here's week 41. You've already seen me um, kind of build it. So um, there's that. This is what I'll do, show it this way. So this one is a horizontal format. And then this one goes this way. This one, I decided to let it go off the page and keep it that way. And I added a little bit of white paper to the outer edge. I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle this part because I wanna keep this these dark areas going off the edges. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but temporarily I have this white piece of paper um, just tacked down on the back and I want to just keep it from being torn and ripped. So that's why I have it there and I'm gonna decide on what I'm gonna do with it later. This is number five for week 41 and you see all the all the the gold leafing and here is week this is day um, six and I have some metallic on the background and then some gold on the leaf oops I think that was five this is six I use some similar backgrounds. I think what I do is I just get in a, on a roll with a, with a certain background or a certain set of colors and I just kind of go with it for the week. So that is week 41 finished. This is my week 45. And I'm just, I've been kind of on the same roll with with um, colors and imagery so it's going to be similar i can't really remember i haven't looked at it since since i made it so this is week 45 day one. Oh yeah i started doing ink blots and it took a long time to get the ink out of my out of my nails but that was one of the reasons i was waiting because i don't usually do my nails and my my fingers and all my nails were black so i got some new um, Sumi ink and I was just playing around with doing some stamps with them all kinds of um, ink blots and stuff so that's one of the reasons that I wasn't doing too many videos these last few weeks here's one of the ink blots all kind of layered in there with similar colors from the, the week's colors There's another ink blot, but with um, not Sumi ink, with um, some, I think it's Bombay ink, some magenta Bombay ink. And there I use some, um, some black ink with a gold tint in it. And I think you can see it there. And a leaf that I found. So that is my week 45. And week 46, I really don't know what I'm going to be doing as far as themes. I mean, probably very similar imagery, but I also want to use some of my um, ink blots. So I have quite a few of them here, and I don't really know where to begin with them all. But um, so I have some baby spaces. So here are some, you know, here are some that I made. This is with black ink and gold paint. 
that I made a few weeks ago or farther back than that. And then just recently I've made some ink blots with this ink that I bought at a local art store, but you can get it online. Um, and I've been wanting to buy some Sumi ink for a while. So I got the um, just traditional black and then I got some um, golden black. So it's black with a gold tint and then I got a silver black. So that's what I'm playing with here um, when you see these pieces. Um, so a lot of this is, you know, um, some of it's with gold ink, some of it's with gold paint. So I want to just um, kind of make a quick little video. And I'm not really sure where to start because I feel, so I feel really disorganized um, today, but it's okay. Um, I'm going to, now I can't find my ink blots. I have like a zillion of them that I need. Um, so, you know what I, what happened is I organized the other day, I organized my, there they are. I organized my studio space and see here all my ink blots. I organized my studio space and I thought, okay, I'm not gonna be able to concentrate or do anything unless I organize my studio space. And then I organized it so well, I couldn't find anything for a minute. So I'm gonna put this to the side. I think I'm gonna decide to use this first. Um, I just happen to like how it's Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So I just happen to like how it's running off the page. This part is a little bit torn, which I don't know what I'm gonna do about it, but I'm going to really quickly cut this, trim it. And Sure. So I like to kind of look at it like this and see. So I think that'll work. I'm just going to do a really quick collage and see if what I'm doing ends up being something I like. Um, so I don't have any images here that I kind of set aside. Um, I guess I could go for my, my go-to um, images that I've been working with, which are the butterflies. So maybe I'll do that because I'm not really feeling like, so I have these little envelopes which I really love. I don't know why I love them. I mean, I do know why I love them, but I just love them a lot. I love them probably more than I should, but I love them because I can store little pieces in here and see what they are. So I don't have to go looking through all the envelopes that I have to see what I have in there. So I um, kind of feel like it needs to be bigger and maybe this and I almost feel I like this but I almost feel like it, sh it should be I like the torn part of it but I almost feel like it should be um you know maybe I will um maybe I'll tint it a little bit let's see I can find here mm -hmm. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we'll see the way that I'm thinking. So this is, I think, some pumice stone ring inker. Um, 
And I think I have some water in there with it. And I'm just gonna, you know, add some color to the background. And then it's gonna get all wet and I'm probably not gonna be able to do much with it. Or a bit. But we'll see. Really like how this, you know, gets like it's more solid and less solid, but I don't know how I'm gonna work it in yet with feel like it needs something behind it, so I'm looking. Didn't mean to hide it, but I don't think I like that. Um, something brighter. I've been using these um, pieces from just some decorative tissue paper, I think that I got in a gift. And there, I think I like that. And I don't know, hopefully that will tear just right. So I'm going to tuck it down. It's not completely dry yet, but I'm going to tuck it down. And then I'm going to see. I think that's going to work. And try not to think about it too much, as you know, is my, is what I try and do. I think I'm going to do that. And maybe so this side's going to be maybe this side should be larger because this side's going to be. Maybe this side should be larger since the butterfly is coming off of this edge a little bit more. That's what I'll do. And this side can be here. edge is a little bit too clean compared to the other edge, so I might tear it a little bit. And these guys, I've talked about this before, but I tore off the antenna, or I cut off the antenna off of these butterflies and moths, and I've talked about like drawing them back in. I haven't gotten to the point where I've drawn them back in on any of them, but if you haven't seen any of those videos and heard me talk about drawing them back in, that's what I'm planning. That's what I'm sharing that I'm planning to do. I don't even know if this is the one that I want to use. I feel like that one. I like that one. I like this one because it's bigger. That one works too, but I like this one because it's more colorful. So... 
let's see. Which is better. This is better. So maybe I'll just set those aside until I decide what I'm going to do with them. Okay, so time to glue this down. It has a little bit of gold in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it does shimmer a little bit. Um, I feel like I almost want to make it a pocket, like, so it wouldn't be a very big pocket though, but I feel like it would be fun to make it a pocket. I actually do have some score tape, but I don't know exactly where it is right now because my studio is very organized and that means I don't know where it's at at the moment because I haven't messed it up yet enough to I've been in my studio, but I haven't been doing studio stuff like artwork or collages for a week or so. Um, my internet's been kind of wonky and, and I've been preoccupied with different things. So I um, So I forgot what I was going to say, but so I just, I, I'm still getting used to the new way that I put my, my studio together and where everything is because I haven't been, you know, needing to grab it to use it. So I'm back. So here I am trying to find my stuff. I like that kind of sticking up. It kind of looks like it's been burned, which is, I like. Okay, so I really like the crinkledness when the paper before I glue it down, and I like it. There's no way that I know of to have it stay that kind of puffy and crinkled. It just will flatten out because it's so, you know, it's so um, delicate and it'll just do what the glue wants it to do. But, anyways, that's. I like it when it's puffy and more wrinkled, but I also like it this way, so it's fine. So now the time's the time to figure out, ooh, maybe that one. Maybe. Maybe that one. Let me see. Or that one. Like, I like them all. Probably any, any one would be fine. This one would be fine too. Now, I think I'm going to do this one because I haven't done any butterflies or moths with um, these little, these little tails at the bottom or butterflies. I don't think moths have that. But, so I'll use this one. I wish it was bigger, but but I feel like you don't want to take so long. I mean, it doesn't take too long to cut these out, but for the purposes of doing it here, it kind of takes a while. So I'm wondering now the placement here. I like that the circle is showing more. Maybe what I'll do is I'll trim it and see if things look like them. So here, here, I really don't mind if these pieces are sticking out a little, well, I guess I should, but I'd rather they be torn, so I'll try and tear them. Go. Okay. I feel like maybe I just realized maybe I'm not talking loud enough. So hopefully I have been talking loud enough throughout. 
like that there, but it's maybe it's too much there. Like that there, because it's going off the page. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. Let's see, do one more. Maybe I'll think about that. So maybe for one of my next ones, I'll do something similar. Do something similar. I am just going to have it go over the eye for now. Go off and on. And there is my number one. Week 46, collage number one. There it is. Hopefully, you see the little bits of gold flecks that are in the ink. I'm going to be using more of that. So, hopefully, you'll like it and you'll try it yourself. Thank you for joining me, and we will see you next time.